145 in the p.m. That's right, Bean. We are getting ready to go to day number one of the Knoxville Nationals, and I know I'm pretty excited because this is this is a good time. I've been before. I know what to expect. Bean has never been, so are you excited? You know, you have really no idea what you get into, but it's gotta you gotta yep. be excited. Can't wait to see the speed of the race cars and ready to go. Well, without further ado, we're gonna hit the road here because my parents they're gonna go get gas, so we're gonna hit, head the road to Knoxville, and uh, again. It's only about 1.45. Racing doesn't start tonight until 7.30, and that's in theory because it seems like out here nothing starts on time or when it's supposed to, but I don't think they care because everybody's here for racing, so you really don't care. Well, you're not supposed to, but all right, so we'll, uh, we'll pick this up in a little bit. We'll see what we can do when we get the knocks. So we're driving through downtown Oskaloosa right now, and uh, you know I mentioned it last night, and I didn't get it, so I wanted to get the come and go for you, and again, gas is 3.39. It's actually dropped about 25 cents since we've been out here, so it's actually pretty good. So again, this is just downtown Oskaloosa. We're still on our way to uh, Knoxville. We still got a ways to go, but just giving you the daytime version. Well, for anybody wondering what their main crop out here in Iowa is, and uh, we've got a soybean. And to the right, you see. Well, look at that. I'll see if you can zoom in. And yep, that is correct for corn. So basically, this is pretty much the entire road between. Knoxville and Oskaloosa, corn and soybeans, with a few pigs thrown in. Can't forget the pigs. Well, we're getting off the Knoxville exit now, and we're bound to uh, drive through downtown Knoxville. Well, I guess the edge of town. Here you can see Walmart to our left, and already cars are in the parking lot. Guys are out working on their race cars, getting ready for tonight. It's a preliminary night number one here at the Knoxville Nationals. Well, we're heading through downtown uh, Knoxville, getting real close to the racetrack. It'll be up here on your left. I just want to give everybody a chance. You can see it up there in the distance on the left-hand side. We're going to actually drive by the racetrack because we're on our way to Mr. C's restaurant for a little dinner action. So that's the plan for today. And then we're going to come back to some souvenir shopping, but dinner is the first plan. On our right, you'll hear about the infamous Dingus Lounge. There it is. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Amazing. Everybody playing a little cornhole activity, but that little building right there, yeah, that is the Dingus. We have the red light here. The left, you can see all the different stuff in the... Uh, Outside of the racetrack, and we'll keep heading down through straight down through Knoxville here. Again, to the left is still the racetrack. Over turns one and two, the Raceway Mall. And on the right, we have all these uh, novelty stands and things set up, and everybody just kind of hanging out, enjoying things. Brian Newman's race cool. The 15th Casey's General Store we've passed. Not Donnie shot. Schatz is Charler. Here on the left, there it is, the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame. National Sprint Car Hall of Fame there on the left. We're going to come up here and we will take a left and then we're going to head into uh, Mr. C's Family Restaurant for a little bit of dinner. Just probably a jam. You're annoying. Filming everybody's meal. Bean, what you got? Thanks for the egg, Mom. <laughs> a little steak action for Bean. Yeah, and you got the beef. Thank you very much. And that, and, yeah, I got the beef too. All right, we're leaving the, uh, what are we leaving? Mr. C's Family Restaurant. We're gonna take a quick run here to the parking lot by Mr. C's, and it's kind of cool because it's all race car haulers. So we'll give you an idea of what we got here. We'll look down, you can see guys working on their cars, getting ready for racing action. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to run anybody over, so I'm sure the filming while driving down the road is the way they want me to do this. Look off. To the left here, we got people camping in here, all these race cars and things. More cars back in there. Oh, we're gonna go out right here. 
Alright, so that's a quick look at the parking here. In, uh, basically racetrack, well, race hauler row here, which is behind turns three and four. So you're gonna walk down through here. So, Bean, give me your impression so far of the event. Wow. Yeah, that's all you got. That's is all, wow. That's all I could say is wow. Now, here's the funny thing. Let me back up and get a shot of your T-shirt here. Came all the way to Iowa to buy a Brett Hearn T-shirt. Yeah. I love. It's good to be the king. So again, we're just walking down by all the haulers here, as you can see. And hopefully Bean will have more words tonight on the way home so we can actually do a, a quality interview. But we'll see. Maybe I'm just too organized. I have my list. Things that I have to have in my bag. You're almost busting my ass. about two o'clock in the morning racing action is done here on uh, Wednesday aka Thursday at this point all right Bean wearing the Brett the Jet sh shirt and congratulations to Brett the Jet picking up win number 800 Bean how many Brett Hearn shirts did you buy today two look at that one shirt for each win I bet you Brett Hearn would ask you to buy about 600 now because he could go for 1400 wins all right your first <laughs> time ever at Knoxville what'd you think uh really fast a lot of passing definitely that's all you got why is he can talk? I don't, I'm just not an interview guy, okay? All right, just talk into the talk to me. Don't not know to what the, to say. Talk to me, not to the flip phone or the the flip camera. But what do you think of Knoxville overall? I mean, give me some impression. Like if you were just talking to me, what would you tell me? What would you think? Just a very competitive track. The cars are flying. Once you wreck, you're you're done. <laughs> How fast is this place? Uh, the average speed they said was about 121 miles an hour. What did you think? What was your first thought? You know, the cars go down the front straightaway in hot laps, and they're Haul in the mail. I'll use that word instead of swearing, but haul in the mail, what'd you think? This guy's got to have some big cojones. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the most impressive guy of the night? Uh, probably Shane Stewart and Shots before he blew up. All right, what about Shots? Why do you think Shots was the most impressive? He just seemed like he had the power. Got it done. And Shane Stewart, what'd you think of him in the A-Main? Coming from 24th to finish 5th. Pretty impressive. That's, yeah. Nobody else was doing that. Overall, is there anything you can compare Knoxville to? Nope. You, we, you and I were talking earlier about uh, Knoxville and Super Dirt Week. Compare the two for me. Definitely beat Super Dirt Week. Why? <laughs> you see where? Come on, it's a blog. You can say what you want. It's not like you get free passes and you're going to lose them if you don't tell me the truth. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> an interview guy. I don't do interviews. You don't do interviews. It's no. funny, because all he does is talk my ear off the entire day. And then I put a camera in no. front of him. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm scared. Are you going to go to bed and snore? Sure. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I was going to I was gonna film myself and give you my comments, but Bean's going to eat for the 15th time in the last 20 minutes. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what are you eating, Bean? Ham sandwich? Yep. All right, well, Bean's going to have a hand sandwich. Hand sandwich. I mean ham sandwich. <laughs> Uh, that will conclude today for me. I thought tonight was a spectacular race. Obviously, Sammy Swindell picked up the victory uh, past in Davey Heskin. I'll be honest with you. I was pulling for Davey Heskin. You know, the kid is a local guy, races here weekly. 
And, uh, you know, he was there with Sammy Swindell and Brad Sweet in the top three, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, Sammy got lucky. He had a late race restart, got the top side, and that seemed to be where uh, Sammy needed to be. The question remains, though, well, Sammy Swindell went on Saturday night. You know, it's been a long time since Sammy's got it done. And I know personally, I think I'd like to see Sammy pick up the win. But uh, if a local guy can get it done, an Iowa guy, which has never been done before, I think that would be pretty cool too. But for now, we will call it a night there, Bean. What do you think?